and circle time with Mrs. Beth again. Hope you're having a good day. Let's sing our welcome song. Oh, here we are together, together, together. Oh, here we are together, all sitting on our, oh, mats, oh, sitting at home with, say your name, and Mrs. Beth. Oh, here we are together, all sitting at home. Bonjour. Everybody say bonjour. Thank you. Bonjour means, what is it? That's right, hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? Are you good? Show me the sign for good. Good. Are you happy? Yes? Awesome! I'm so glad! All right, my friends. I have to say happy belated birthday to my friend Kate. Yesterday, what's Kate's birthday? And Kate, if you were here at Mrs. Beth's preschool, we would have had a party for you but I hope that soon I'll be able to get your special gift to you. Anyway, Kate, I hope you had a fun day. My friends, let's see what today is. We're getting lots of numbers on our calendar. Let's sing together, everybody. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now's the time for us to say Today is not Tuesday, but it's th th Thursday. And what month is it? Who remembers? That's right. April. Two syllables in the word, so two claps. April. Again, April. And what happens in April? It rains a lot. That's right. For the flowers to grow. That is correct. Because it's springtime. We need a number. We know it's Thursday and we know it's April. What number do we need? All right, everybody, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, that's right, 23. A 2 and a 3 beside each other is called 23. Very good, my friends. What a beautiful day. <gasps> is it a beautiful day at your house? No matter what the weather's like, it's always a beautiful day that God gave us to enjoy. Let's do the weather chart. Remember, there's different kinds of weather that God made. I don't know what it's like at your house. It might be nighttime when you're doing the weather chart. It'll be pretty dark out. It might be hard to see the sun. We don't have a moon. You know what, friends? Let's see what does the weather the weather, the weather, what does the weather person say today? Well, at my house, there is some sunshine today, and there are some clouds today, too. It's not raining right now. It might, but anyway, I hope you got to see the weather at your house, my friends. Now what we're going to do, oh, hang on, i got to take my binoculars off. I don't want to ruin them. Because we talked about April and flowers grow in the springtime, let's practice that little rhyme that goes, April showers. Showers means lots of rain. April showers brings May flowers. Again, April showers brings May flowers. A beautiful flower like a tulip. Now, let's get on the ground and do our poem about being little flowers. Do you remember it, friends? Everybody down. Under the ground were seeds, a 
under the ground. We are little flowers peeking through the ground. Slowly, slowly up we grow, looking all around. Look around. God sends tiny raindrops. God sends sunshine bright. And we grow bigger day by day. And we go to sleep at night. Good job, my friends. You may sit down. Now we are going to do, yes, our letters. We are doing a review. Well, I got a lot of cards here. But we'll do the book first. Let's see what letter. We're, our reviewing means we talk about things that we've talked about before. So we're going to start with the letter. Who knows? That's right, a P. Everyone say P, P. Sing P, P. P, P. P, P. What begins with P, 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 P? Pencil? For drawing beautiful pictures. Good job. Now we have a... What's this round one with a stick through it? Qu, qu, Q. It's a tricky one, but good job, my friends. Q is qu. Q, qu, Q, qu, Q, qu, Q, qu. What begins with Q, qu? Queen. That's right. P Q R. Let's sing that. R R R R R. What begins with R? Rainbow. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's rain under the rain clouds too. Starts with R. Okay, we got two more. What animal goes s? That's right, a snake. S sing. S S S. What begins with S? Scissors for cutting different shapes on paper. And one more letter. T T T T T T T T T T T T T What begins with T T? Right, a choo choo train. Woo -hoo! And it goes down the track. Good job, my friends. All right, I look at my fingers. Get all the cards out. Here we go. What's this one? P Q R S T. One more time. P Q R S T. All right, let's see what's in Mrs. Bag. Mrs. Bag. Oh boy. Mrs. Beth Bag. And you know what? I just remembered. We have to remember to sing our song, our alphabet song. Mr. Tom will have to get me the chart over there so we can remember to sing our letters up to the letter T. All right, let's see what's in the bag here. Who can tell me what this is? A spider. Where is the S? Mr. Tom, it's over there, honey. Behind Mrs. Best's shelf. Yeah, uh-huh. S for spider. Where's the S? Right here. Thank you, Mr. Tom. S for spider. All right, let's see what else in Mrs. Beth's bag. Oh, what's this one? Hop, 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 hop. A rabbit, a bunny rabbit, but we're gonna call it a rabbit today because we need a R. R. Where is the R? P Q R S T. R for Rowan and Rosie. S for Stevie and Sarah. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, here's one. Here's a bird. Has nice big wings, but you know, this bird doesn't fly. God made it to swim fast and 
skid and slide on the ice. What is it, friends? That's right. I heard you. A penguin. P -p -p. Where's the P for penguin? Can you see it? Here it is. Oh, wow. My friends are so smart today. Good job, my friends. All right, here's a picture. Here's a picture of what? Somebody wears nice jewelry and a crown. Who wears the crown? That's right, Queen. Oh, I heard some of you say Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth lives in where? Uh-huh. I know some of you know. London, England. Qu -qu Queen. Where is our Q? That's right. Right here. Q for Queen. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, and Quentin and Quinn start with Q. All right, here's something Mrs. Beth loves to, to eat, and my daughter Rachel, I told you that the other day. I call it a vegetable, a t -t 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 tomato. Right. Where is the t -t -t tea? Down here. Good job. <gasps> tea for Mr. Tom, Theo, Talia. Good job. All right, let me see if I, I have a couple more things in here. All right. Oh, let's do this one. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. What is this? A p p p pig. Where's the P then? P for penguin. P for pig. Good job. We are learning these letters. Let's say them together. P Q R S T. Very good, my friends. Now, what do we have to do? Right. Let's sing. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody everywhere. Clean up. Clean up, everybody do your share. Now, I can't show you this yet. I have to do something. I gotta get my markers. Yeah, uh huh. Let me find my markers. I'll do different colors because I forgot to do this earlier, but I'm hiding it from you right now. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Mrs. Beth is doing. Oh, this some black. Now we'll do this nice raspberry color. All right, here we are. I got it ready. Are you ready, my friends? I'll move the table out of the way. We have gotten a lot of letters on our chart. Remember, we stop at a certain letter. Let's sing it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Good job. Maybe we'll do it again before circle time ends. Oh, I thought Mr. Tom wanted me to stop. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stand up and we're going to sing a song together. Mr. Tom is being really crazy today, and he's behind the camera, so you can't see what he's doing. All right, Mr. Tom, we're going to do the wheels on the bus, my friend. So everybody stand up. Moms, dads, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, all my friends. Here we go. Always good to move your body. Come on. It'll come on in a minute, but let's wiggle around. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all around the town. Swish, 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 swish. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all around the town. Move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all around the town. Up and down, come on, people. Up and down, the people on the bus go up and down, all around the town. On the bus go. Shh, 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 shh. The parents on the bus go. Shh, 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 shh. All around the town.
Tell us dance. Oh, woo! Let's go, people. Up and down, everybody. Up and down, all around the town. Where's your wheels? Round and round, round and round the wheels. Round and round, all around the town. Come on, dance with the partner or by yourself. Good job. You may sit down, my friends. Now, my one of my favorite, favorite parts is to do letter review. We've been talking about P, Q, R, S, T. Oh, one sec. Mrs. Beth needs to get them out of her bag. Because I'm sure it will help you. I'll bring my table close. All right, so let's say them together. Together, friends. P, Q, R, S, T. So here is the big P and the little P. The capital P and the lowercase P. Where do you see it on that side? Show me. Come up to your TV or your iPad or your big TV or little TV. Whatever you got. Have a look. Oh, yes. P. Good job, my friends. Now we have the next letter, Q, 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 big Q and little Q, where is it? Yeah, good job, some of you are so quick. And then we have the letter P, Q, R, R, that's the beginning sound, R, big R, little R, where is it? Here's big R, yes, way up here, good job my friends. And then we have S, like a snake, sound. Here's big S. Where do you see little S? They're pretty similar, just different size. That's right, down here. And the last letter is a T, 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 T. For Tally, I'm Mr. Tom Theo. T, 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 where's the big and the little? Yes, good job, my friends. Now remember, my preschool friends and everybody else who's watching, you can get mom and dad to make you a chart like this so you can match your letters together. That would be a fun thing to do. Okay, guess what? We're gonna sing our alphabet song one more time before we do our shapes. Oh, Mr. Tom again is showing me that I missed something. Oh, did you, okay, you know what? Who knows what I missed? I'm missing a letter on my alphabet shirt. Oh, Mrs. Beth, I think I need a nap today already, and it's not even that late. We've been talking about them. Uh -huh. Talia and Theo and Mr. Tom start with this letter. Can you believe it? I forgot. All right, hang on. You know what? Preschool teachers are not perfect. We make mistakes too, just like everybody. All right, let's see if you can now recognize what letter I missed. Yeah, I missed the T! Oh, so we definitely have to sing it again. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T! Oh, that's a good stuff. T! Oh, hang on. I need a little drink. I got a frog in my throat. Ribbit. Did you hear that? Ribbit. Mm -mm. One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T! We got to stop. Good job, my friends. Okay, now, this week, we've been talking about, well, I guess for a few days now, we've been talking about circles, squares, triangles, and rectangles. And now, in my bucket here, 
I have two more shapes. I show you. I have an oval. And this one is a diamond. Whenever I see this shape, do you know what it reminds me of, friends? It reminds me of a kite. When my girls were really little, and we would go to my mom and dad's, their grandma and grandpa's trailer, and on a windy day, there was a big, big area where you could fly kites if you wanted to. So we have an oval. You know what an oval reminds me of? Eggs. Easter eggs, chocolate Easter eggs, or eggs that you cook or bake with. So we have oval and we have a diamond. Let's see what's in this Beth bag. Well, here's a picture I found hanging on my wall. It's a kite. Do you remember what shape I said reminds me of a kite? That's right. A diamond. Whoever said that, good work, my friends. And I decorated it. You can make a kite if you want at your house, too, in a diamond shape. All right, let's see. I have another picture here. I think my preschoolers, we did this on Blue Day. I'm not really sure. That was a while ago, but it's a bird. But what shape is it? It's got tape because it was on the wall. But what shape is this long circle shape? It's called a oval. Good job, my friends. All right, let's see what else I got. Hmm. Whoa, this is pretty heavy. I wonder what's in here. Let's have a look. Ooh, can you see? These are eggs you buy at the store. I have, what color are these ones? That's right, white. Anybody know what color these ones are? Brown. Not black, but brown. White and brown eggs are from chickens, from hens. And I like to bake with them, and I like to eat them, too. Mm -hmm. What shape are they? Let's find out. I'm going to lift it up. It's not round. It's a little bit longer. So what do we call that one? That's right, an oval. So where's our ovals? Is this an oval? Or is this an oval? Oh, you're right. This is an oval. All right, let me move it over a little bit here. Oh, I got some other things here. These are probably going to roll, but I'll show you anyway. Whoopsie. I have pink, and I have blue, and I have purple. How many eggs do I have? One, two, three. What shape are eggs? That's right, my friend. Oval. And did you know, I got to tell, oh, they're going to fall. Hang on, let me move this. Put them up here. When Mrs. Beth used her binoculars to look around my house, I had a really hard time finding ovals and diamonds. But you know what? If you look really carefully, you might find them. So there's one other thing I want to show you in here in my little rectangle container. I'm just going to turn this over so you can see it better. I have a whole bunch of these. We're going to count them once I get them all out here. To see how many Mrs. Beth has. Do you know what shape they are? Are they ovals or diamonds? Who can tell me? That's right. A diamond. Now, we're going to count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, my friends. Now, you know what? It's been a little while since we've counted our numbers in French. Let's see how far we can go, and then maybe we have to learn a couple more. Let's see. Remember, we start with un. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, Owns. Who remembers owns? That's 11. And then number 12, we say do's. Good job. Now, I want everyone to look up here. We're going to try it up here. 11 is owns. And 12 is do's. So let's try it together. Everybody together. Here we go. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, Neuf, dix, 
owns dues. Very good, my friends. And I know my preschoolers know these numbers. So you keep practicing, my friends. I will tidy that up in a little bit. Now, what we have to do is a bingo game. Do you remember? Last, the other day on Tuesday, I asked moms and dads ahead of time to have a bingo game ready for you. So, oh, I guess I'm going to need my table, so I better tidy up. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. All right, I better leave my table here because I think we might need it to play bingo. And remember, you can have chocolate chips if you want. I told you that the other day. Or Cheerios or fishy crackers, whatever you want to use. Mrs. Beth's going to use chocolate chips today because, well, they're pretty yummy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, and then I told your moms and dads you could make one. So, this is one I just made the other day to show you. So, I'm going to get it out. So, everybody got their card ready? Get it ready. I'll wait a couple seconds. And if you're using chocolate chips or fishy crackers or Cheerios or any other kind of cereal you can use that will fit on top. Because when I show you my cards, then you will put it on top. So, are you ready? Who's ready? If you're not ready, moms and dads, pause. You can pause right now and get it all ready. All right, I'm gonna show you a shape on my cards. If you have that shape on your big card, you put a chocolate chip or whatever you're using on. So here we go. Who can tell me what this shape is? That's right, circle. Look on your card, who has a circle? Put your chocolate chip or whatever you're using, put it on like this, see, circle. Perfect, there's our circle. Okay, here's another shape we're talking about. What's this one? Three sides, Tri triangle, good job my friends. Where is your triangle? I see mine, but you gotta look on your card, where is your triangle? And get your chocolate chip or whatever you're using and put it on. Good job. All right, let's do, oh, let's do this one. Who can tell me what shape this is? Has four sides that are the same one two three four a school square who has a square on their card i see mine but can you see your square on your card my friends find it and cover it with whatever you're using maybe you're using marbles or pennies or dimes or food whatever you got oh here's one it's like a circle because it's round but remember it's longer like an egg an o oval. Do you have an oval on your card? I have one on mine. Mrs. Beth sees it. Find your oval, my friends. Good job. Your sisters and brothers can help you, or moms and dads if you need help. All right, what's this one? Kind of has lots of different points. Four points. Who remembers what it's called? A d, d, d. It's on my ring. A d. Diamond! Do you have a diamond on your card? Have a look, friends. I see mine. Diamond. Good job. We have one more shape. Who remembers what it's called? Remember, it's long on two sides and short on the other two sides. A re... That's right! I heard you! Rectangle! Who has a rectangle? I do. Do you have one? Look, see if you have a rectangle. Now, is your card all full? What do we say, preschoolers? Tell me. That's right, we say bingo! Now, you may eat your little snack. I'll eat mine later, but go ahead, friends. Eat your fishies or your crackers or your chocolate chips, whatever you're using, you go right ahead. Clean. I will clean this up. We have something else to do, my friends, before we say bye-bye. I'm going to read you a story. A story 
story called Franklin in the Dark. Why did I pick this story? Well, two reasons. First of all, I picked it because Franklin is what kind of animal? A turtle, right. T, -t, 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 -t for turtle. That's one of our letters. T we did today. T for turtle. And it's about Franklin being kind of scared of the dark. You know, sometimes I get scared of the dark, but not very often. I'm more scared of thunderstorms. But anyway, we're going to read it together. Are you ready? Let's listen. Franklin in the Dark. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could even zip zippers and button buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small, dark places. And that was a problem because Franklin was a turtle. He was afraid of crawling into his small, dark shell. And so Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. Everywhere he went, he dragged it. Every night, Franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it into his shell. See, she would say, there's nothing to be afraid of. She always said that. She wasn't afraid of anything. But Franklin was sure that creepy things, slippery things, and monsters lived inside his small, dark shell. Oh, silly Franklin. So Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Quack, quack, maybe, quacked the duck. You see, quack, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes, quack, when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would quack, quack, would my water wings help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of water. So Franklin walked and walked until he met a lion. Excuse me, lion. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Roar, maybe. You see, I'm afraid of great loud noises. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my earmuffs. Roar, would my earmuffs help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of great loud noises. So Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a bird. Excuse me, bird. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Tweet, tweet, maybe. I'm afraid of flying so high that I get dizzy and fall to the ground. Tweet, tweet. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I pull my parachute. Would my parachute help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of flying high and getting dizzy. So Franklin walked and walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small dark places. And I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Franklin was tired and hungry. He walked and walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, there you are. I was so afraid you were lost. 
You were afraid? I didn't know mothers were ever afraid, said Franklin. Well, did you find some help? she asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water. Hmm, she said. Then I met a lion who was afraid of great loud noises. Uh-huh, hmm, she said. And then, Mom, I met a bird who was afraid of falling and a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said. So you met animals and they were all afraid of something? Hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late. Franklin was very tired and very hungry. So they walked and walked and walked until they were home. Franklin's mother gave him some supper and a warm hug. And then she sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said to Franklin. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his small, dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things, slippery things, and a monster. But he said a brave, good night. And then, when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his night light. What a great story. Oh, sweet Franklin. He was scared of his shell because he didn't like the dark. And he met so many other animals on his little adventure when he went on a little trip. And they were all scared of something too. And he told his mom like, everybody's scared of something. And you know what friends, that's okay. I like it in the story how Franklin went into his shell even though he thought it was going to be scary, there might be monsters or creepy crawlers, and there's not. That's not even true. That's just in our imagination. But what did he do? He put on a night light. And if you need a night light in your room, that's okay. Or maybe you have a hall light down the hall on. You know what, friends? I hope you enjoyed our circle time today. Guess what? See you next time!